Hi everyone, it's Jess again. Um, I just decided to make a spontaneous video for you because I just found out that Adobe has partnered with Kyle T. Webster to include all of his brushes in Photoshop, which is amazing. I just found out about Kyle's brushes and tried them the other day and they are so much fun to use. So I highly recommend that you add them to your Photoshop um, toolkit. Uh, it's very easy to do and I'll show you what kind of things um, you can create with it today. So if you want to add his brushes, just simply in Photoshop CC, make sure that you have the latest version downloaded. I didn't and it has changed quite a bit. So it took me a little while to get used to the newest version. Uh, the menu bar here has changed, I've kind of rearranged it all and this looks different. It's taken me a while to get used to it, but I think once I am used to it, it'll be more efficient. Anyway, if you want to add these new brushes, simply go over here to the brushes menu and click on this icon on the right and go down to get more brushes. And it will open up the Adobe site where you'll just need to sign in and then it will, see that's his logo right there, you'll be able to download all of his brushes. There's lots of different kinds, um, packages of uh, dry media brushes and ink brushes and my favorite are the watercolor brushes. So go ahead and do that. I downloaded the watercolor brushes and uh, dry media, the mega pack and these runny inkers, which was, is really fun for outlining. So, there are so many brushes in these packs. Literally, the watercolor package has hundreds, hundreds of brushes in it that it's impossible to know which one to use, really. So what I did was I actually went through every single one and found my favorites and then made a new folder. And I've put them all into a folder here um, called favorites, right here. So um, I'll show you what, uh, with a few of these brushes, what I like about them. And you guys go ahead and experiment. So first one, we'll try this. Um, this is just a drawing that I uploaded and cleaned it up. Uh, pencil drawing scanned into my computer. So I've put it on a separate layer called drawing, which is set to multiply, and then added another layer underneath, which is going to be my color layer. That's just set to normal, which is where I'll be painting. So grab your paintbrush and just start coloring. I'm just putting a steady pressure here. And as you can see, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna zoom in, look at the texture on it. Man, love it. So there's like one of them. I really love that. And it is cool because it feels so <laughs> realistic. Love it. Uh, this one, let's change the color. Go more orangey pink. Okay. That's kind of like a soft blush kind of color. This is set to normal. Some of his brushes are on different things like the one before was on Linear Burn, um, which I really don't use. Um, but if you want to add color on top of color, like I do, put it on Multiply. Some of his brushes are set to Multiply. But you see like that, like I haven't changed the color, but I'm adding, it's on Multiply so I can add color to it. I like that it's not uniform as well. The more you press down, the more that the color kind of comes out in random sporadic ways. Um, let's try a different one. Look at the brush on this. Okay, go for a different color. Look at that, it's really wet looking. This is also set to normal, but it must have a certain opacity to it to be able to have, you know, a little extra. Um, Try another color. Yellow. Also quite a nice wet brush there. Whoa! Add a little bit of color. 
Look at how much it looks like watercolor. This is so, this is like candy for, for artists. I'm telling you, this is exciting. Oh, this one's cool. It's a, look at, it's like a dotty splattery one. I like this for backgrounds. I like to do a color and then I, and then add a bit of a background splatter. Um, try this purple. Yeah, look at that's wonderful. That noise in the background is my dog. Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, this is just, I just had to show you guys because I'm so excited by it. Sorry, one second. Willow. Thank you. Real life people. Dogs playing in the background. Wow, that's a bit, a bit too much on that one. <laughs> Let's uh, reduce the size. But look at it, it's so fun. Yeah, just lifting up and adding color. Love it. Anyway, so um, there are literally just so many to choose from. And look at the wet edges on this one. Look at the wet edges on that. That is lovely. Some really nice intense color on that. Um, so that I love. Then there's a bunch more. Um, I'll just show you, what does this one do? Yeah, it's really awesome. Yeah, just great. Anyway, uh, you can also add, let me find it up here, salt. Check this out. So once you've got your color down right, you can put, I might need to I'll zoom in a bit. A bit too close. You can put salt on top, look at that. Like it can add, like you, like you sprinkled salt on top of the paint. How cool is that? Adds a little texture. I love that. Uh, here's another one, another salt one. Yeah, see how that, I mean, it just makes it look like you just painted this in real life. It's wonderful. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. And then, if I was to outline it, I like... These anchors he's got, Kyle's Runny Anchors, this third one up from the bottom is, I think, my favorite. Go to a dark brownish color. And then um, if you didn't like it, add another layer. Always suggest you add another layer, put it on multiply. And, you know, you can you could do an outline. That is really dark. Anyway, so that's just some of the brushes. There's also blending tools. Yes, there are. Everybody always asks me how I blend my artwork, but kind of one of the lovely things about these new brushes is you don't really need to blend it. But there are blending tools in, the, um, in these uh, different brush packages. There are some blending tools. So you can play with that too. But yeah, this is just so much fun. I hope you guys get it, download it, and have some fun playing with it. So this is something that I, that's the pencil drawing. So look, this is what I did earlier. Just doing that same exact thing, adding color, and then the different watercolor brushes, this sort of splatter effect on the bottom. And then the bunny has also got different watercolor brushes and then I outlined with that um, the brush the ink brush that I just showed you so yeah something else to get excited about in our little art world so please check it out you guys and then if you do some art with it show me I'd love to see thank you for watching my videos and I hope this has been helpful for you and yeah stay creative thanks guys bye